my loaded potato skins. Chicken skin is like chicken bacon. It has so much flavor and crunch. And then I'm also gonna use the chicken fat to brush the potatoes and just add more flavor. Then it'll help the potatoes get crispy. I'm gonna transfer the chicken skin to my paper towel. All right, I'm gonna get my potato skins out of the oven. I have some russet potatoes here that I've baked at 400 degrees for about an hour until they were soft. And then I scoop them out. I'm gonna grab a brush and then I'm gonna brush the potato skins with this chicken fat left over in the pan. This is called schmaltz. It's delicious. So this is not only gonna help the potato skins get browned and crispy, it's also gonna add amazing flavor. I grew up eating potato skins whenever we would go out to eat, except when I was little, I only liked the innards, just the cheese and the bacon. I would scoop them out and leave behind the potato skins. These days I appreciate the extra fiber. Okay, these potatoes are good and glossy. I'll stick them back in the oven now for a few minutes so that they can get extra crispy. And now I'll get going on my cheesy filling. I've got two kinds of cheeses, just for more depth of flavor and different textures. I'll start with my provolone, which will add melty, milky creaminess. And some white cheddar will give it really good flavor and saltiness. I also like adding some sliced olives, which will add that delicious brininess and some sliced scallions. I'm gonna add the white parts now and then I'll save the green parts to sprinkle on at the end. And I'll mix this up. This is so easy and when you bite into them, they're so satisfying. I'm gonna get my potato skins out. Now before I add the filling, I'm gonna season them with some salt and pepper. And like a nice deep boat, it'll hold a lot of filling. They're potato yachts. And I'll fill these up. And I'm really gonna mound them because the cheese will melt down. This is perfect. Okay, I'll continue on filling these. I'm gonna stick them under the broiler now for just a little bit so that they get ooey and gooey and melty. And while those bubble, I'll chop up my chicken skins. This is my favorite part, other than eating them. This is just gonna be a chicken skin fan show now. I'll chop these up into little bits. They'll be like big morsels of salty crunchiness. Let me get my sauces. I've got sour cream and sriracha and I'm starting to smell those potatoes. I'm gonna check on them. I mean, these should be illegal. They are criminally delicious. I'm gonna transfer them to my serving plate. The potato skin is crackling beneath the tongs. And now I'll finish this with an abstract squiggle of sour cream to cool them down. And sriracha to spice them up. And my scallion greens will add a fresh crunch. And lastly, the star of the show, my crispy chicken skins. Oh yes, how pretty are those? I don't think Nick is gonna notice if I taste one. Here I go. They are cheesy and crispy and chickeny, and they have that perfect amount of heat from the sriracha. Excuse me while I eat the rest of these. 